Hello Taurus viewers. I'm going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, um, just whatever the cards want to say. Let the cards do the talking. A couple weeks ago I was getting that there's someone in your life for this energy group that wants to be more than just friends. Um, it's like they, they know that you're kind of afraid to put yourself out there again, but they, they're wanting to take this to the next level. This could also be a current relationship where someone's just wanting to take things to the next level, but there's the sense of a desire for a commitment from someone. Queen of Wands. Two of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Page of Swords, Nine of Swords, interesting, Three of Cups, okay. I feel like there's a warning here not to be too hasty with something because it's like almost, I don't know if someone else is juggling two people. There's like some kind of energy where it's like someone's trying to juggle something. This could be like work in one person or this could be two people. There's just like a feelings of like kind of like an imbalance here or like having multiple things on your plate or your person has multiple things on their plate. So there's two different stories here. So for some of you, this person is wanting to choose, for some of you this is a third party situation, and the person is wanting, and this might be a different um, energy group than, I mean, okay, so this is the same energy group of Tauruses, like if you're if you're a Taurus and you're watching me, then it's the same energy group that I channeled last week and the week before that and the week before that, um, but sometimes the story is a little bit different, so the reading is, it, you know, it's, it's your energy group, but it might be a different ex that I'm channeling in this specific spread. You know what I mean? It might not be the same person that I channeled for you guys a couple weeks ago. But the story I'm getting here is that someone... Someone's wanting to choose you over a third party. But they're afraid that they're going to be too hasty and too clingy because they have a lot of damage and that it's going to overwhelm you and they're going to get heartbroken. Um, because Eight of Swords traditionally is like someone that's got all these, um, swords around them. And so they can't, they're so focused on the swords that they can't see that there's an opening to their home and their castle and everything right in front of them. So they're, they, they're, it's, it's like they just, they hurt themselves. It's like this victim kind of energy. But someone, it seems like someone just had some kind of epiphany here because Page of Swords is, it's inexperienced, but they're eager to learn. They're eager to, um, they're, they're passionate, they're fiery, they're eager to put themselves out there to experience life. So it almost seems like someone had some kind of burst of clarity where they're like, oh, I don't actually have to be trapped. Like, I maybe I do have a chance with this person, but maybe they're afraid that they're not quite ready or that they're too inexperienced or that they're going to come on too strong. So they're trying to hold back, but maybe they're holding back from you too much. But they're just trying to get in. They're trying to avoid this nine of swords energy, which is, you know, nightmares, fear, anxiety, pain, just, just a lot of negative energy. So they're trying to kind of balance things out here a little bit is what I'm getting. This could also be, so this could be someone that's choosing you over a karmic, but they like, they know that they're, they know they messed up and they also know that they're damaged. So this person might have been with the karmic for a long time and they're just kind of afraid that there's going to be a lot of drama and that if they, if they're with you, like you're going to have to pick up the pieces for them in a way, like you're going to have to be dealing with their damage and with everything else. So it's almost like this person had an epiphany. They're like, oh, wow, look at all these, like, swords around me. Like, like, there's an opening here. I didn't see that opening before. Wow, I actually can be happy. Like, they're getting themselves out of this, this eight of swords victim energy and coming, wanting to come forward quickly, but they're trying to calm themselves down because they're like, wait, what if that's too much of a burden for them? Like, what if... What if I'm too damaged? What if it's better for me to wait and heal myself for a little while first before I start a relationship? So they're just kind of trying not to overwhelm you right now. Um, I feel like there's a, there's another potential story here is this could be the person that I channeled um, a couple weeks ago where I was, I mean, this could be the same ex. I don't know for sure. For some of you, I think this is a different ex. For some of you, it's the same person that I channeled a couple weeks ago where I was getting that um, someone wants to be more than friends and they they know that you're kind of afraid to love again. 
And I feel like, sorry, I'm just looking at the cards here, looking at the whole, it's taking all the energy in. I feel like maybe, so this could be an X that shows a karmic over you. This could also just be someone that has like a clear opening now. They're like, oh, maybe I do have a chance with this person. Maybe this person does see me as more than a friend. Um, like they're getting, whatever it is, someone's like getting out of eight of swords energy. They're like, wow, maybe there is an opening here. Maybe there is, maybe there is a chance here. Like they're wanting to come forward really quickly. It's basically whatever the story is, there's just some kind of energy where it's like someone is, is having an epiphany and realizing that there's, there's hope here. They're getting out of eight of swords energy, but they're almost being too hasty. Like they're, they're inexperienced. They're, they're not slowing down to heal. They're just like. Oh wow, I have a I have a chance. This could be someone that like jumps from one relationship to the other, and it's almost like they're they're wanting to they're trying to slow down so they don't end up in the Nine of Swords energy. This, let's see. This could also be a warning for you not to move too quickly because I I'm looking at the caption of the last video where it says you know I I I want to be more than friends. I know you're scared to love again, but I know you feel it. So maybe it's kind of like you were afraid to love again, but now you're waking up and you're realizing that you don't have to stay in the eight of swords, kind of like victim energy, you know, like you can, you're realizing there's a castle, there's, there's happiness, there's love here for you, you know, when you're waking up, you're, you're taking back control of your life, but it's almost saying like, don't, so, so three different stories here. So for this story, if this is you, it's saying, you know, yes, there is a way out of the eight of swords. There is, you know, the potential here of, of home, of happiness, but don't be too hasty. Don't rush into things because that could lead to, you know, overwhelming yourself, overwhelming the other person. Cause this person that wants to be more than friends, like they might really care about you a lot, but if you like if you're watching my videos and you're like, oh my gosh, they do want to be more than friends. I can feel it. And then you like blow their phone up and you're like, I love you. Like I feel the same way. And they're just like, dude, like I was just hoping like I could take you on a date because I'm interested in you. It's not like, you know what I mean? Like you might move really fast. Um, if that, if that's again, three different stories here. So this is one of, this is the third potential story here. I feel unless, unless you take the cards another way, like always use your own intuition as well. But, um, but yeah, I feel like it's like maybe you're like recognizing that there's a potential here and it's just kind of saying like you're recognizing that someone likes you or you're recognizing like maybe like a neighbor or someone's been checking you out and there's some potential here. And you're like, it's like saying like, don't overdo it and overwhelm them though and get too excited and get too far ahead of yourself. You know what I mean? Like, yes, they do like you. Yes, they do want to take you on a date is what I'm feeling. But that doesn't mean that it's, it's like kind of ease into it. You know what I mean? Cause maybe you've just been friends with this person for a long time. And then you just have this epiphany where you're like, Oh, this person actually likes me or like, Oh wow. That neighbor, or that person's checking me out. I didn't notice that before. And it's like slow down though. Like, you know, yes, it's good. You're aware of this, but, but don't overdo it in like smother this person. Now that you have this awareness, you know what I mean? Like still kind of ease into things like flirt, test the waters, like, Give them the opening to ask you out or even ask them out, but just don't overwhelm them. Cause I feel like if that's, if you're in the third group, the third um, story here, I mean, like then I feel like you tend to move very quickly in relationships. So it's just kind of saying like when this, if this epiphany has come in or if it's coming in, you still need to kind of take it slow a little bit, you know? I mean, you want to move, like you want to flirt, you want to maybe ask them out or have them ask you out, but like, don't, don't be like, oh my God, like I feel the same way. Like I love you. Like just, just, just. Take it a step back. <laughs> what else is going on with this story? So the Pentacles. Looks like you have some um, financial abundance coming in the future as well. Because Southern of Pentacles is it's like you've worked hard for something, you've bled for something, you've you know sacrificed. Like we got like the black swan energy here. Um, it's like you've sacrificed for something, you know what I mean? Like this is, this is struggle and you know, you're coming out of like the struggle is about to be worth it. So this could be, you've been going to school for something for a while and maybe you're about to graduate or you're about to, 
like move someplace new or you have some kind of new energy coming in where it's just saying like what you've gone through with school or with work or whatever you've been going through, whatever you've been trying to build for yourself, this empire you've been trying to build for yourself or getting a degree or getting, um, you know, a promotion or whatever, like the, the financial abundance and stability is, is finally coming. I think you've started doubting it because maybe you've just been working hard for something and you're like tired of not seeing it physically manifest, but this is confirmation that um that the ten of pentacles is is in your future and you know this is this is abundance this is this is stable finances this is getting the money that you've earned the money that you've been working for um or just stability in general and career that you've been working for okay next message and if this is your story and you want a private reading my email is below in the description box um, it is dragonenchantress at aol.com, but you can just, you could just copy and paste the email. Um, yeah. And any donations are appreciated too. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. My PayPal and Cash App link are also below, so thank you for that. Ace of Wands. You've got a lot of new starts coming in, new passionate starts. Six of Cups. Six of, excuse you, six of cups, six of wands. Hmm, clarify the six of cups. So some kind of new start here with ace of wands. Clarify the six of cups, ace of, or, oh my gosh. Six of cups, six of wands. Clarify the six of cups, six of wands. <laughs> yeah, you have a lot of um, cards here about financial and um, material abundance manifesting in your life. Because this is also... You know, like the harvest, like reward for hard work. So that's that's very good energy. Um, Six of Cups is nostalgia. Six of Wands is is being in the public eye. Six of Six of Cups could be like childhood, like a childhood sweetheart or something. But I also I mostly see it as as nostalgia, just like a longing for simple simpler times. Um, Six of Wands. We got Ace of Swords. Is this, is this abundance coming in with a form of love as well? Yeah, it looks like it. So it looks like you've been working hard to just have the kind of life that you want, you know, financially, um, with love. And I feel like you've gotten kind of frustrated with things not, sorry, with things not manifesting for you. Like you haven't really seen physical evidence or at least not, not a lot of physical evidence of these things manifesting for you. So this is someone that's like been working hard towards their career, but like they haven't graduated yet or they haven't gotten the promotion yet like something's been kind of like they're like they're just kind of it's like they're kind of putting a lot of eggs in one basket where they're like I hope this is going to shift soon but I don't know for sure um but I feel like yeah I feel like with money and love I feel like your um your hard work is about to pay off because it feels like this is nostalgia this could be someone from your past that's kind of missing you and they're wanting to, they're in the public eye or like they're wanting to come, they're wanting to be like seen by you. Like they want to, they're wanting to um, get out of this nostalgic energy and kind of be, um, you know, public, like be, they want to make themselves more obvious to you. And Ace of Swords is about communication and clarity. So you could be getting some kind of communication from someone from your past, it looks like someone that's just been kind of nostalgic and missing you but maybe you felt them but they haven't said anything but now they're wanting to be more obvious about their feelings and you have reward after hard work this could be the same person I channeled when I was I because I got that energy of you know a couple weeks ago or it's like someone's afraid of love again, but someone wants to be more than just friends. So maybe someone's just sort of been nostalgic over you, but now they're now they're communicating with you, or now they're they're trying to make these feelings more public. There's some kind of seems like there's some kind of truth or clarity that's come out or about to come out. So you got a lot of good energy here overall. I mean, you have the, the most, the energy I get overall is just reward for hard work, you know, be it, you know, manifesting love, manifesting money. Um, you could be dating someone right now that's wanting to take the relationship to the next level as well. 
Six. Page of Wands is it's I'm getting the energy of like a message here, like some kind of romantic message, some kind of um like someone's been in hermit mode, but now it's like they're wanting to come out of hermit mode and express their feelings. They might have been some blocks or something that they had to get through, but now they're yeah, they're fighting those blocks. They're, you know, this person is in they're getting rid of their they got the shield now, you know what I mean? They're coming forward. They're they're letting go of this person's your person's letting go of some kind of heavy burden, ten of wands. Something that's been weighing them down um, and stressing them out. They might have had to get through like they might have been in a karmic situation and they had to get through that energy and now they're um you know, letting that burden go and they're choosing you, or they might have just had a lot on their plate, or they had um, maybe maybe the burden of, you know, for those of them that like didn't know how you felt, like the burden of just kind of being in the dark and not knowing, but they're they're fighting now. It's like this person seems like they're really, you know, this person from your past seems like they're, yeah, like they're fighting for love, like they're giving into their heart, they're giving into their emotions. I guess it's possible it's someone you, you're dating too that's like working through these things like they're working through their own past through their own traumas and their own burdens and stuff and they're wanting to to they're like they've reached a certain level of healing and now they're wanting to take your relationship to the next level too there's some kind of like epiphany or some kind of communication is coming in for you is what I feel someone's wanting to message yeah it might be kind of unexpected too king of swords Yeah, it might be kind of an impulsive message. Maybe a little bit impulsive. Might be kind of sudden. Might not be something you expect. Someone's wanting a new start, a new life with you. Could be a king of swords that's wanting it. Someone's wanting to come out of stagnation. So whatever the story is, be it if this is just someone you're friends with and they're just like, you know what, like I want answers. Like, does this person, like, do you like me? Do you not like me? Like, they just want to know if there's hope there. Um, or this is like someone from your past too. I feel like this person's nostalgic, whoever they are. But they're just kind of wanting to get out of stagnant energy and they want truth and clarity. And they might be messaged. There's, there's the energy here that they might want to message you. Yeah, they're trying to use their intuition. They're trying to stand their ground and really use their intuition to send this message because I feel like their fear gets the best of them and they're trying to just be intuitive and be strong and, and say what they need to say. They're trying to just spit it out, you know. Might be some like throat chakra blocks and stuff. And again, this could be someone that you're dating that's been working through their, their issues and they're wanting to take the relationship to the next level, like wanting to like move in together or wanting to... Um, like officially commit or something like that and they might be kind of nervous expressing this to you so that could be the story too there's just some some type of energy where someone wants whatever the story is whether you're single or with someone someone wants to take things to that next level even if you're just friends like then you know if you're friends and it's like they're wanting to to go on a date they're wanting to take take that to the next level. But the first spread we were getting was saying, you know, either they might be worried about that. They might be worried that they're damaged. Like if they've gone through a lot, like they had like a karmic situation, they might be worried that they're going to put all that damage on you and that they're not fully ready. And they're just trying to be careful because they don't want to move too fast and overwhelm you. And this is like that same energy where it's like someone's wanting to move forward, but maybe they're afraid they're going to move too fast or they're afraid that they're going to overload you or something. And they're not sure if, if you want to take this relationship there. Like, if you want to go from being friends to lovers or if you want to go from dating to being official or if you want to go from, um, you know, being in a relationship to moving, living together, like they're not sure how, where you're at with that. So they might be kind of hesitant. Um, and then there's also for some of you, there's that warning like we were getting in the first spread that um you know, you have to be kind of careful you, that the, the hastiness could be you just for a select few of you. It might be you that has to be careful because you might suddenly have this epiphany and be like, oh my gosh, like this person wants to date me or this person wants to um, make it official or they want to move in together. And it's like you go overboard, you know, instead of just 
inviting them to move in, you like propose to them or something. And they're like, dude, no, not, not, not that much. Just like they, they want you, but they're not there yet. You know what I mean? So someone is either afraid that they're going to be hasty or there's a warning that you need to not be too hasty with this because yes, they do have feelings, but they still want to go at a steady pace. You feel me? The sun. Yeah. Something's moving forward. <coughs> <coughs> Something's moving forward here, and I feel like this is going to be a balanced relationship, like equal give and take, you know? It's going to be a healthier relationship than maybe the ones you've had in your past. You guys might end up being business partners or building some kind of empire together here with the Page of Pentacles. You might have been ghosted in the past, but it feels like this person's going to be more stable. Yeah, like you've gone through a lot, so you've learned a lot in relationships, but this relationship does feel, yeah, it feels more stable to me. Page of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're really coming out of financial issues. Um, you're coming out of heartbreak. Because you're letting something go. So there's something. You're, you're leaving the past behind, be it financial issues, heartbreak. You're wrapping up some kind of karmic cycle and you're coming into this, into your power, high priestess or high priest energy. Um, a lot of people are wrapping up karmic cycles. I actually just got that for um, another Zodiac video that I just did. So that's, I think that's like, I think it's, um, maybe that's because we just got out of Mercury retrograde and all the planets are direct right now. I feel like, I think all the planets are direct for like a few more weeks. So that would make sense that like we're just, maybe you went through some tough things during retrograde and now it's like some kind of cycle is complete and you get to move forward out of um, whatever the pinnacles energy, you know, hobbies, career, finances that have been weighing you down, like you're moving to that next level. Same with love, you know, things are things are just leveling up for you. Yeah, the star you planted seeds and these seeds are finally starting to sprout. So that's really good. And you're, you're letting it go now. I feel like before you were kind of worrying about it, like when's when is this going to happen? Like, am I gonna, am I gonna get there? Like, is it ever going to happen? And you're kind of getting out of that energy where you're just like living in the moment more like just if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Like you're just trying to relax a little bit and that's helping you manifest things. Yeah. You're letting go of someone that maybe was, um, could be someone financially dependent on you or someone that wasn't very stable. You might be letting go of someone that was kind of toxic. Yeah. The wheel, some kind of karmic cycle completed and that's part of it is like you're letting go of this so now you have this new love that's coming in it's like slow but stable and steady you know what i mean like yeah it's good energy someone who's more stable who's stronger who's you know queen or king of swords like someone who's who's strong who's stable who's who's more mature so i hope that all makes sense um and like i said if you want a private reading my email is below in the description box just send me an email any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. And if it resonates, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.